Okay. It's the 11th of September. I was going to ask John to come. Well, I did ask John to come, but he's got other things he needs to do. And I'm going to head down to the fly in at Kitty Hawk, which is on the south coast near Eastbourne. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR 1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Well, it's not looking too brilliant at the moment, but we shall see what happens in due course. South End Radar, Gold Valve for Yankee Echo Hotel. Gold Valve Yankee Echo Hotel, South End Radar, Post Limited. Uh, Gold Valve for Yankee Echo Hotel is the Jodo DR 1050 out of Nayland for Kitty Hawk, 1 POV VFR, and a request transit through your zone via your overhead. Traffic Hotel, basic service, QNH 1016, 5053. 1016 and 5053 coming up, Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Romeo, Lima, turn left, heading 270 degrees, close localizer from the left, clear direct approach, runway 23. Left heading 270 degrees, close on localizer from the left, clear to the island, 23, thank you, Golf Romeo, Lima. South Yankee Echo Hotel, cruise across South End, trolley space by the South End overhead and then southbound BFR, not, up to, not below, altitude 1,500 feet. Well, I'm going to turn that off for a little while um, and uh, I'll speak to you again fairly soon. Golf Echo Hotel, into trolley space, radar control service. Radar control, Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Echo Hotel, contact South End Tower, please. One two seven decimal seven three zero. South End Tower, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is with you. Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel at South End Tower. Good afternoon. Report overhead. Report overhead. Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Echo Hotel. After overhead, watching ten booting. Overhead, you then Detling, then Heathfield, then uh, Kitty Hawk. Golf Echo Hotel. Perfect hotel, thank you. Well, I'm struggling to maintain 1,500, which is what I was given as a minimum crossing. Uh, but having said that, that bit just cleared now. Golf Echo Hotel is overhead. Golf Echo Hotel, watch him. Contact South End Director, 128-965. Goodbye. 128-965, uh, Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Echo Hotel, Contact South End Director, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel. Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, South End Director. Hello again, basic service on leaving control airspace. Uh, basic service, Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Echo Hotel, caution on routes you pass overhead Stoke Microlight Field. They can operate autonomously up to 1,500 feet. Nothing observed on radar at this time. 
I think I can see where the airfield is on the basis of the solar farm that's beside uh, Helioscope has formation where we're um, uh, final from the uh, south east. Helioscope is also done when left hand to it. With your traffic, Gulf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel inbound to you, five miles to the north. Understand it's uh, two eight left hand. Go for Echo Hotel. Correct, two eight left hand one zero one five. Go for Lima Victor is turning down wind for two eight left. Roger, one ahead on base. One ahead on base, go for Lima Victor. Kitty Hawk traffic, go for Uniform Kilo, turning final with runway two eight Kitty Hawk. Sorry, I went very quiet there, I just trying to get my head around exactly what's happening. I've got it sorted out now. i got the Jodel in front of me. Uh, Golf Echo Hotel is downwind at left hand 28. Golf Echo Hotel. Echo Hotel. Hey, Hall, can you give us a wind check please? Echo Hotel final, uh, contact one off. Echo Hotel, Roger. Uh, white Art, there we go. Quite easy to see in the end with the uh, solar farm there. Be nice to be coming down a little bit there.
Having listened to the repeated comments about wind shear and turbulence, it was interesting to watch Lima Victor, and then I find myself being thrown around in exactly the same way, in exactly the same places as they did. I kept a little bit of extra power on in case I needed to catch something at the last moment. And then because of that you'll see that uh, once again I cover the brake just in case I need it, which I didn't. City Hall goes to Charlie Golf Tango Tango, five miles to run, have QFE 1015, runway 28, left hand, Golf Tango Tango. Tango Tango to the right now, correct. We were being parked down the side of the long runway. Uh, what I have done is I'm going to play a piece of music now so that people can have a look at the aircraft that are parked up there. I know a lot of people like to do that. I have sped it up ever so slightly, but yeah, see what you think. I was at the very end of the line. Dave has been with us on a number of our continental adventures, uh, including a couple of trips to Saint-Omer and to Deast in Belgium. Sarah had invited me to this, the first ever Kitty Hawk fly-in, and I was looking forward to seeing her Eurofox. Most 
questions I had was actually about the mount because before this I've got, my, got a gaping hole behind there okay. um, but it was just difficult to find a mount that would fit so I ended up getting this koala mount on eBay which is basically two strips um, and you just put them however far apart you need them, you know, to get the iPad in. Okay. And I was a bit yeah. worried because of this, and I thought, oh no, is it going to rattle in flight? It's yeah. absolutely fine, it doesn't rattle. Um, but it's a lovely panel, it's really nice and, and simple and straightforward. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, a good panel is, is important. I mean, I spent quite a bit of time putting mine together over time. Yeah. Sarah had been waiting for a flight in the Bristol NG5 Speedwing that was there. So the rest of our conversation will have to happen another time when she's promised me a flight in the Aerofox. Sarah's mum and dad walked over to the runway to see her take off. It did climb away very steeply and very fast, but was straight into the sun, so I'm afraid I lost it in the viewfinder. So? Oh, it was good. Wow. It was such good fun. It went up like a rocket. Yeah, we went over to Palmer's Farm, that yeah. was our strip. We did a low approach, um, and gosh, it was just incredible. And then bank, sharp left, and it was just excellent. Yeah, really wicked. An interesting looking takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sasha, if you were in that, you would have been screaming. <laughs> I promise, yeah, he's going home now. Sometimes there are other things that will compete with aircraft. Some of you might have seen the air to air in last week's video, which I shot from the back of John's RV4 of Matt, who's based at Nayland here in the RV7. Another Matt, this time John's son Matt, taxied out in his Jodo DR 1050. And was then followed by two more of the Bent Wing Brigade.
Thank you for inviting me, Sarah, and I am looking forward to my Eurofox flight. Thank you, sir. When you have sufficient spacing, you're cleared to turn around and clear takeoff. Uh, clear takeoff, Golf Yankee Sierra. I'm lining up now, media. The Neko Hotel, do you need the full length? I, I will take it, yes please. Hey, sir. Thank you then, sir. Enter and backtrack. Golf Yankees here, we're clear to the uh, west coast of route. Thank you and see you next time. You see you, Roger. Bye bye. Golf Dotter Mike, yeah, clear to the exit. Change your frequency on route. Same as thanks. See you soon, Golf Dotter Mike. Alright. Echo Hotel, take off when ready. Go for Echo Hotel rolling. In next week's video, I return to Nayland outside South End Zone using the Listening Squawk and I fly British Airways Captain Dan, who is amazed at the Nayland hillside landing. Golf Echo Hotel is uh, clear to the north, thank you very much for a great day. Echo Hotel, Roger, good day to you.